Hey everyone, um, just getting ready for the holiday season. I um, I still have finals that I should be finishing up, but I'm just like so caught up in the Christmas spirit and it's really inconvenient because I should be studying, but all I want to do is wrap presents and drink hot chocolate and read. I have this Christmas love stories book and it has like a few different, here I'll show you. It has a few different, um, like, love stories in it. It looks like this. I'll let it snow. And it's by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I just started. I'm only, like, one chapter in. But I just picked that up. thought it would be really cute to read for Christmas and help to get me in the Christmas spirit. But, um, yeah, I still have finals to write, and I have to study for those no matter how much I do want to. But um, I'm going to be doing the holiday traditions tag. There's a couple different sort of variations floating around right now. And I just kind of grabbed the first one that I saw. So um, yeah, let's get started. This it was requested of me to do a holiday, some sort of holiday tag. Um, they didn't specify which one. So um, yeah, I'm going to do it. I didn't really think that anyone would care to watch it, but I got at least one request. So. I'll do it, um, and it's one way for me to kind of like enjoy the holiday Christmas spirit without, you know, something that's not really too time consuming. Um, I painted my nails China Glaze Emerald Sparkle, such a pretty Christmas kind of green color, and um, I'm wearing this bow ring which kind of reminds me of Christmas. I think this is from Forever 21. It wasn't expensive, that's for sure. And, you know, red sort of Christmassy uh, sweater. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of like making do, enjoying the Christmas spirit as much as I can, you know, considering that I still have to study for finals, which is a total pain in the butt. I have finals, I have three finals left, and they are all on December 22nd. So that is going to be a long, very horrible and treacherous day for me, but, um, once it's done, I'm going full out Christmas movies, hot chocolate, fireplace, wrapping presents, baking, everything. I am cramming as much Christmas in as I can after the 22nd. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started with the take. I have them all on my phone here, so. Um, favorite holiday destination. Um, I, my family doesn't really go anywhere for Christmas. We just stay at home. Sometimes we'll go to different family members' places. But, um, I live with my mom and my stepdad, and my dad lives, um, and all of my dad's sort of side of the family all lives in a really, really small town. I don't want to say it because it's really, really small. But, um, in a really, really small town. It's still in British Columbia, but, um, there's so much snow there. Um, not right now, actually. I spoke to some family members, and there isn't that much snow there right now, but there's usually, like, feet, foot upon foot upon foot of snow on Christmas, and it's, I used to go there every other Christmas, and I really loved it when I went, because I was younger, and so i get, like, a long time off for Christmas, and i just go and do baking with my grandma and, and play in the snow because there was so much snow and just really I could just like submerse myself in nothing but Christmas like activities and I loved it and that I really enjoyed going there but now that I'm older and I have a lot more responsibilities like I said my finals go really late like almost right up until Christmas so it's just not really an option that I have and I can't just go and forget everything because I have a job now so I pretty much just have to stay put and enjoy Christmas kind of while it lasts but there's still so much other not really fun stuff going on so yeah I really enjoyed going there but um as for somewhere else I wouldn't really I don't think that I would enjoy going somewhere hot and tropical for Christmas I mean, I don't think I'd really complain, but I think it would be super fun to go to, like, a ski resort for Christmas. Somewhere like Colorado or somewhere closer to home, like Whistler. Um, I've been to Whistler one time, and it's this big mountain resort in um, 
it's about two to three hours away from Vancouver and it is gorgeous there. I didn't go there for Christmas time though and I think that that would be amazing. So yeah, I'd say Whistler, Colorado. Alright, any family traditions? Um, not really. My family doesn't really have that many traditions, or maybe we do, but I'm just so used to them that they don't really seem out of the ordinary, you know what I mean? Um, we lay, um, we have a big Christmas tree, it has, my Christmas tree doesn't have, like, a really pretty theme going on, it's just kind of like, different colored lights, it's really big, it's got like a little bit of everything on it, it doesn't really have a really nice color scheme to it, but it's really nice and comforting because it's something like the ornaments that I've seen year after year after year, like there's some ornaments that I've had since I can ever remember, and there's some that we get every year. Um, I think one of the questions here is favorite ornament, yeah that's the next question, um, shoot I should have brought them. But um, it's my favorite is an A and an E, and it's two separate ornaments, and they're just silver. It's just a big capital letter A and a capital letter E. It's probably backwards for A, E, maybe. Anyways, and they have um, rhinestones on them, and they're hung by red ribbon. And those I think are really really pretty. And the A is for Amanda, and the E is for my brother Ethan. So I really like those. But, um, yeah, as for holiday traditions, not really. Um, usually every year Christmas is at my house. All my aunts and uncles and cousins and grandparents from my mom's side and my stepmom or my stepdad's family all come over to our house. We just eat a lot. My mom gets stressed out a lot about the cooking and I calm her down and help out with the cooking. And, yeah, our Christmas traditions are nothing special. Just very sort of just being together and all that good stuff. What are you doing for the holidays? Well, I'm studying for finals until the 22nd, and then, I kind of mentioned this earlier, I'm just going to not really do anything super special, not going anywhere, just going to have Christmas in my house like usual. I think that it's just going to be a really close, immediate family, and maybe my boyfriend will come over for Christmas, but, um, um, we're not having all of my aunts and uncles over, so it's going to be very little and just cozy. You know, we'll wake up Christmas morning, open presents, and then my mom starts cooking the turkey at like around 11 or something, because I guess they take a really long time to cook, and just helping out with the food, with the cooking. Well, not so much the cooking, because I'm not a very good cook, but I can help chop vegetables and all that good stuff. I love Christmas music. I'm looking forward to putting on the stereo and listening to the Christmas music and eating Christmas cookies and yeah. I'm just something else that I'm really looking forward to is just relaxing. Just I have a little bit of a break between school or first semester and second semester and I just wanna relax and read books and spend time with my family, my boyfriend and just relax and calm down and kind of regroup myself for next semester. Okay. Are you late or early? Are you an are you a late or early Christmas shopper? Um I like to start early, but I'd say the bulk of my Christmas shopping gets done like a week or two before Christmas. I do start early like near the end, middle of middle to end of November, but then I kind of get some done, and then I don't really do shopping for a long time, and then I do a lot of it right before Christmas as well. Who usually cooks holiday dinner? My mom, definitely, always. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No, I've never gone Christmas caroling. I am... Um, I used to be in my school choir when I was in elementary school, and we did some caroling at hospitals and elderly folks' homes and stuff like that. That was kind of fun. Can't say that it would really be something that I'd be interested in doing now, but, um, yeah, I have before, I guess, but I've never gone door-to-door -door or anything like that. Do you live where it snows? Yeah, I live in Vancouver, BC, and it doesn't snow a whole lot, but... Two years ago, it 
did snow a whole bunch. We got like three feet of snow or something like that. And then last year, it didn't really snow very much at all. And this year is supposed to be the worst, snowiest winter in 55 years. Holy. But, um, we had two snowfalls, but nothing more than like 10 centimeters each. So, yeah, I'm kind of expecting, it snowed just last night actually, but no more. It snowed like an inch and then it rained right after, so it's pretty much all gone now. But, um, yeah, I'm anticipating a lot of snow for January and February, maybe, which I don't like. I hope it snows on Christmas a bit, but I want to wait Christmas. I don't want a wet beginning of 2011. It's just a pain in the butt. One thing that makes you happy is that Christmas. The food, I love. The food, I love. The cookies, the chocolates, all that. Um, a lot of people say just being with their family, but I have a really small, really close family, so I'm always with my family, so that's not really something out of the ordinary, but um, I just love the warmth and the good mood that Christmas usually brings. I mean, there's, str there's stress brought with like any sort of holiday, um, like with the shopping and the cooking and all that, but um, it's just so nice to relax with hot chocolate and read a book. It's just so comforting and cozy. That's what I like the most about Christmas, that it's so cozy. And last one, what do you want most for Christmas? Um, hmm. I'm not going to say world peace or to curb world hunger. I mean, that would be great, but let's be realistic here. I really want like a whole whack ton of neutral MAC shadows because like I said, I said in a previous video I think, or maybe I didn't, but um, I haven't been, I haven't really had that much inspiration to buy a lot of high-end makeup like in the past like at least six months, so I haven't really bought any, but lately I've been like really craving it and um, yeah, so I have a lot of cool funky matte colors, but I really want a whole slew of matte neutral shades. Um, and then I just want some clothes. Um, there's a couple of sweaters and jackets that I want from a store called Aritzia. And I want to relax and read books and sleep and enjoy Christmas and just everyone to be together and eat great food and just be happy and love each other. So, yeah, that's my few Christmas wishes. What I want the very, very most is just to relax and eat good food and enjoy myself and not worry about school. Yeah, that's what I want the most. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do celebrate Christmas as opposed to other holidays. I also, I haven't really um, gone to a New Year's party or really enjoyed New Year's for a few years, so I really want to do something exciting for New Year's this year, and yeah, that's something I really want to do. So have a great day, and have a great holiday, you know, season. Relax, eat a lot, love a lot, and sleep a lot. Get good rest, people. If you're on break, if you have like a break time, Get good rest, because that's something that I take granted for, for sure. So, yeah. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye!